so we have seen the two major difference one is you know uh, what is the basic difference is you know CDMA and here we are talking about the FDMA and TDMA and uh, we have seen other major difference is the power control and we know that what is a near far problem okay let me discuss uh, more other features or difference between these two technology so we know very well I mean in um, GSM uh, we have a small room and other rooms are very much isolated by the wall and and uh, within the room at a time only one user is entering and shouting so that's not a problem but uh, we should not shout too much and uh, should not create the same should not create the interference to the other users you know so uh, let me uh, discuss the other difference uh, which is a very important difference is frequency reuse right frequency reuse everybody knows that uh, in GSM uh, let me explain you first GSM we have certain frequency right for example if you have a 31 frequency then out of 31 you reserve some frequency for uh, let's say 12 frequency use for BCCH the remaining 19 frequency use for a TCH and uh, every sales you have to plan one TRX on a BCCH and assume that in typical city if you have something around 300, 300 sites and every site has a uh, three sales so total you have uh, 900 sales and uh, you need to plan uh, every sales you know one uh, TRX per sale uh, BCCH TRX you have to plan BCCH TRX uh, one TRX per every sale and you have a frequency available only 12 so you know that means you have to reuse this frequency right and here in our case we are using 12 frequency and to plan the BCCH layer so we can say that the BCCH the reuse reuse factor is 12 typically this reuse factor in the GSM depends on availability of the spectrum and all uh, most of the operator does not have a big spectrum in India so they are using from 9 to maximum 15 or in some cases maybe it goes up to 18 frequency so that much of frequency you reserve for BCCH and you try to plan out where in case of the TCH <coughs> we are planning maybe 3 TRX per sale so TCH maybe we are planning 3 TRX per sale so you can understand that uh, one site uh, 3 sales so 9 TRX per site and available frequencies are only 19 so the reuse factor is very high maybe sometime it is 2 to for reuse factor right so you can understand that GSM is all about how well you reuse those frequency and ensure that they are not interfering each other and they have a enough distance and they are not having much overlapping and then they are not creating any kind of co-channel and adjacent channel interference right so uh, that is very much possible in GSM and uh, sometime if you add more and more sites for uh, capacity then uh, if you are looking for more and more capacity right then you know it may happen your quality may degrade right in that case to maintain the quality you have to compromise with the coverage so you need to reduce the coverage right so that you can increase the capacity and still you can maintain the quality right so you can see that this uh, capacity coverage and quality is a trade-off it is a triangle you cannot achieve uh, only quality and uh, you cannot provide the very big footprint of the coverage a very uh, big size of the sales and still you can provide very high capacity also and very good quality also it may possible if you have entire frequency band not just 31 you know maybe 125 or some country has it I mean like if you go to you know uh, UAE I mean Dubai they have almost 150 or 200 frequency so but they, the capacity is also very high but still it is very easy to manage but when when comes to 20 31 frequency or uh, in India most of the new operator has only 22 frequency it is not so easy to manage right so that's what I mean the reuse fa reuse uh, frequency reuse is very big I mean area in the GSM and the the quality of the network is entirely depends on a frequency plan right 
where in case of uh, WCDMA okay uh, let's say you are in the WCDMA you have only one frequency right here in India every operator just got a one frequency 5 megahertz that is in uplink and the 5 megahertz in downlink so that is also duplex system right so WCDMA also is a duplex system and that's why we call it this uh, CDMA WCDMA technology in India we call it as a FDD uh, WCDMA right frequency duplex uh, WCDMA so here uh, we have only one frequency and uh, you know we are using the same frequency everywhere in this side so I'm using F1 frequency here here also F1 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 and we use the same F1 everywhere right so you can see that in this network in the WCDMA it seems like you know everywhere is a co-channel right because everybody is interfering each other now how we differentiate this all sales you know how we differentiate all the sales from each other right and um, that is depends on a scrambling code planning right we will see about SC called is scrambling code and uh, we'll talk about more about the codes as we have a few codes right sorry so let me explain you that here I just want to make a point that uh, you can see here uh, the reuse factor you can see we have only one frequency right so reuse factor here in the WCDMA is 1 where in case of GSM as I told you it may be around 9 to 15 for the BCCH layer and 2 to 4 for the RF uh, TCH layer right okay so uh, this is very much important to understand I mean in WCDMA uh, interference is everywhere it is already I mean predefined we know that means we are in the same room I mean we are in the big room right and uh, we are one is big room I mean the one is big room is one cell right we are in one cell and uh, every mobile has uh, latch on the same frequency right same time you know so all are latch on the same frequency right that is what but the so you can see that uh, this one you know the the so you can understand the uh, the color I mean the white color I'm showing they are on the same frequency but they have a different codes so you can see they have a different code you know they have a red code one somebody has a yellow code somebody has a orange code right and somebody has a blue code right but they, they are still on the the same same frequency right so this is what the WCDMA reuse factor is one where in case of GSM the reuse factor depends on a BCCH and TCH layer now I wanted to tell you another thing is the quality you know so quality and the speech quality or the network quality is entirely depends in WCDMA entirely depends on uh, a radio management where in case of GSM it depends on frequency plan if you have very good frequency plan very less interference you can manage your network very well and your quality will be perceived I mean if you have a very less interference and here we cannot say anything about the interference as you seen I mean all sites are having the same frequencies so interference is obvious everywhere but the radio resource management you know that is uh, what kind of code we assign what kind of power we assign right this all two factors will decide the quality of you know networks or the quality of speech or uh, whatever services you are looking for so the quality has a major difference you know in the in the WCDMA it is based on the radio resource management so how well you plan your radio resource wherein GSM is depends on a frequency plan okay so uh, let me talk more difference about uh, the uh, the frequency diversity and the uh, packet data performance in the next video okay thank you